It's time now for the award-winning number one local talk show in Northeast Pennsylvania, The Sam LaSant Show. Now here's your host, Sam LaSant. Welcome everyone to The Sam LaSant Show, folks. It's another healthcare show brought to you by Lehigh Valley Hospital in Hazleton. And we're, you know, we're known as the healthcare station and today we're gonna to be talking about maternity care. Uh, I like these kind of shows. They're uplifting shows and they're, they're always exciting. Maternity care and services at the LVH uh, here in Hazleton Healthy Beginnings Plus program and the um, o, uh, OB services. Uh, and we have two great guests here to talk about what's happening. It's exciting. As I've said to you before, Lehigh Valley Hospital Network, my goodness, the health care, just the bar keeps going up and up. Okay, I want to welcome, um, I'll get the name right, Angela Dupree. Dupree. D Dupree. Yes. Okay. Uh, now, you... You're not French, are you? No. You're Italian? Yes. No, I like you a lot. <laughs> and of course, I want to welcome Dr. De, De La Vega. And you're from Peru, correct? That's correct. All right. So first of all, Angela, uh, I love the feel that you're in. Because it's uplifting, <laughs> isn't it? Yes. Holding yes, little babies, very taking happy care. happy and um, welcoming. Tell me a little bit about yourself. I'm from Hazleton. I always lived in Hazleton. Um, I worked at Lehigh Valley Hospital for 13 years. You're kidding me. Mm -mm. No, 13 years. So you started when you were seven. <laughs> That's what I thought. Huh? <laughs> no, um, I was 22. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I always worked there. I worked very briefly at another hospital. Tell me about why you, um, you, know, you went to Lehigh Valley Hospital. Um, I went to Lehigh Valley Hospital um, when it was still Hazleton Hospital. Um, and I liked that it was um, community-based. I liked that I was taking care of my neighbors, my friends, and my family. Um, you can't you can't substitute our community care. There's no question about. It. No. Now I'm looking at your credentials here. Okay, it's um, Dupree, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, RN. Yeah. Uh, what's MS? What's uh, MSN? B BSN. I have a bachelor's of science in nursing. Okay, and you're the parent care coordinator. The patient care coordinator on maternity. All right. Now, what do you do? Um, so I work alongside with the director, Denise Ward, um, and we make sure that the patients um, are getting high quality care, um, that um, everyone's being compassionate and providing with excellent care. Um, and I make sure that the nurses um, have all the education and supplies and everything they need to provide that care. What, what, give me an example of what you do. Um, and when you're talking about family birth and newborn center and you're, you're talking about, you know, the care, what, what do you do? We have the babies. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you, you need, that's a part yes. of it, isn't it? Okay. <laughs> um, so labor and delivery, um, we, um, you know, bring the mother in to have her baby. We take care of her and the baby after the baby's born. Okay. Make sure everyone is, um, you know, well and taken care of and stable. Um, we take care of the newborn then and the mother postpartum. Um, That's always a concern, isn't yep, it? Yep. Uh, one or two days they stay at postpartum. Um, we also have lactation services. We have a lactation nurse that goes in with the mother if she um, wants to breastfeed her baby. Um, so we just take care of the, the couplet, we call them. So together. those are the, the, the things of care that you provide. Yep. Okay. So they're told what's available to them. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So Angela, do you have any recommendations about breastfeeding? Um, we encourage the mothers to breastfeed um, if they desire. Uh, we, it's best to um, exclusively breastfeed, um, especially while you're in the hospital. If the mother chooses not to, that's fine. We support her with formula feeding, yeah. Yeah. Um, but we provide her education and all the um, everything necessary to get her started. Why do you think it's best to breastfeed? Um, it's for bonding. Um, it's for healing uh, for the mother. Mm -hmm. uh, it's for the baby to um, welcome them into the world and get used to um, being a human outside. Yeah. Um, it gives them all their uh, nutrients um, and immunities. So there, there are a lot of services that are available. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, in the, the birth and newborn center, 
Right. Um, did they have to come frequently or is it, you know? So they would come to the birth and newborn center when they're ready to have their baby or if there was a problem during their pregnancy. Um, but for their regular care, um, while they're pregnant, they can go to um, Lehigh Valley uh, Obstetrical Services mm -hmm. on Alliance Drive or um, Healthy Beginnings on um, Laurel Street in Hazleton. Now, I understand you have some exciting news mm -hmm. for the community. Um, tell me about it. We were recognized by the U.S. News and World Report. Um, we won an award um, for having a C-section rate lower than 26% and a newborn complication rate um, lower, 37% lower and that's than really other good. hospitals. Yes. That's really good. It's an honor. Okay, so what were the qualifications that had to go in there before you received the award? Um, the metrics. So they take, so they take um, our statistics on, uh, it's called like a primary C-section. So if you're in labor and it ends up being a C-section, um, our, that rate is low, mm -hmm. um, and newborn complications, um, as long as the newborn is well, then. And is that because of the, the proper care that they're getting? Is, yes. is that the reason for that? Yes, we, we, um, provide evidence-based practice and high quality care. Um, we have a lot of training and our doctors, um, are very educated on when the C-section is necessary, and when um, to continue the labor. Yeah. You, you train for this, right? Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. And so looking at all the degrees you have, that's, that's pretty good. <laughs> well, what's, what's exciting about what you do? Um, it's exciting um, to see the families. Um, I mean, of course, we everybody loves the babies, but it's also nice to see the maternal and uh, newborn bond. Mm -hmm. um, you know, those first moments are priceless. Yeah. Um, it's nice to see like families that love each other and are happy and um, just bringing new life into the world. It's it's a positive thing. Yes. Yeah. You, you, you have, you always have smiles. And yes. It's good. <laughs> uh, I, I think it's, it's, it's so, the, the things we have now today in care um, I think it's just great, you know, it helps. Yeah, the, it's important to recognize yeah. the small happy. Yeah, but so, so why did you decide to go into medicine? Um, I wanted to take care of people. Um, There's a lot of I, people to take care of. Yeah, there, <laughs> there are a lot of people. And that's the whole key. When, yeah. you have, when you have a passion for something, Angela, I think yeah. it's, you, you know, you a just... A lot of our nurses are very compassionate, dedicated. Yeah, yeah. Um, educated. They're very smart. My wife's an RN. Yeah. yeah she worked in up to, um, at St. Joe's. And, yeah. And she was always thrilled, you know, it was mm -hmm. always, but of course she also in an emergency room, etc. Yeah. But uh, just to have to have that feel for that. Yeah. You know, yeah. It takes special people. Yes, it does. Um, now there's a phone number on the screen, my friends, if you want to make an appointment uh, for a mother-to-be, they could call this number, mm -hmm. right? It's just amazing what, le what we have available to us in healthcare. We'll be, we'll be back right after this. Welcome back to the Sam LaSanne Show for our healthcare station. Uh, and we just continue to give you some great information. Just today we're talking about my, one of my favorite subjects, little babies. Um, you know, I'm, they just, they just make you feel so good. Maternity care and services um, care at the LVH in Hazleton, and we um, just spoke to Angela Dupree. Now we're going to talk to uh, my friend, Dr. Uh, De La Vega. Now your first name? Guillermo. Yeah. William. In English. Oh yeah, Guillermo. <laughs> so you're from Peru, right? That's correct. So how long have you been here? In America since 2020. Yeah. In Allentown, Lehigh Valley Hospital since 2007, July oh, 2007. Oh, great, great. So you're from Peru? Yes, I was born in Lima, Peru, raised in Argentina, uh -huh. and returned to Peru to start my med school. Uh -huh. I did my residency actually in OBGYN in Peru, and did it again in Pennsylvania Hospital in Philadelphia in 2000. Uh, your family in Peru, were uh, any other people involved in medicine? In your family? Yes, actually, my mother was a nurse. She's still alive, but she's still living. Yes. Good. 
and my father was a veterinary. My brother... He was a veterinarian? Yes. Smart man. Yes. And my brother is in the med school. What does he do? Field. Uh, he's a forensic doctor. Okay. So w w you went into what direction in medicine? To bring life to life, being an OBGYN to deliver babies. And uh, you're delivering babies. Yeah. Isn't that a thrill? It's amazing. It's Especially just, when you start taking the patient the care since the very beginning. Yeah. And so you, uh, where did you train? Uh, in Argentina? No, no. I was training in Lima, Peru, my first residency. And my second residency in OBGYN was in Philadelphia in Pennsylvania Hospital. So I'm double board 35. Why did you decide Lehigh Valley uh, Hospital? Yeah, that's a good question. My, uh, at that time, she wasn't my chairman, but now Dr. Amanda Flicker, who is my chairman, she invited me in 2006 to join her team. Do you see any difference in healthcare versus when you were in uh, Argentina, Peru, versus what we have here in the United States? Uh, yes, there's, a, there's quite a difference. Different culture, different way to approach medicine in Peru than here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And a good approach? I mean, is, is it more advanced here in the United States? Or? It's more advanced, but I think it's more clinical in my country. Uh -huh. So here, when I started my residency, I remember a CT scan was for everything, an X-ray was for everything. <laughs> I, did, I was surprised not seeing my peers using a stethoscope to make diagnosis. So it's more clinical in Peru. And, and it, delivering babies, all right? I mean, that's... Uh, it's a talent, I think, you know, and you have to have that, that as we said, the passion. Do you like what you're doing, uh, Doc? I love it with yeah. passion. How do, you, how do you find the community? It, it was a very easy approach when I started in 2021. Actually, it's been working in Hazelton, Hazelton Hospital since then. And uh, patients are super friendly, super uh, nice to me. And uh, most of them, especially in healthy beginnings, speak Spanish only. Uh -huh. There was a good connection, and there is a good connection when you speak the same language, and there's no that language barrier, especially in medicine. And they're great people. Amazing. They're very, very great people. Yeah. Now, you practice the Healthy Beginnings Plus program, okay? So tell me, what, what is that program? So it's an enhanced program for pregnant patients. Uh, basically, uh, it's any patient who uh, qualify for medical assistance qualify to join our family in healthy beginnings. And what do you teach them? I mean, what do you, what do you, I mean like, give me an example of what you do. Uh, uh, sometimes the, the most important barrier that we find, not only in healthy beginnings in general, is patients without insurance. They think that, oh, I don't have insurance, so I don't qualify to see a doctor during my pregnancy. And what we used to find in the past is that lay prenatal care. So we try to break that barrier. In Healthy Beginnings, if you don't have insurance, we work for you to make sure that you qualify for medical assistance. Okay. And they can have an early prenatal care instead of late prenatal care because the first uh, 14 weeks of pregnancy are very important. Uh -huh. So you, you, you determine who qualifies for the program. Basically, you're saying anyone could qualify. Any, any, and this is for the audience, any, any pregnant patient that doesn't have insurance, please call us that we can help you okay, to so a qualify. Person finds out they're pregnant, okay? Yes. What to get involved with your healthy programs, do they call you when they call they call our office when they're pregnant, when they find yes, out they're pregnant. And we help them to qualify for medical assistance if they don't have insurance. Okay. So what would be the first step then? If, if I call you, listen, I'm pregnant, I'm interested in your healthy pro, uh, beginnings program, what what do you, what do you do? Give me like an example of what you do. My staff will uh, fill a form with the patient yeah. and submit this to the government and the state department for. And what services do you provide to me? We, we, pro we provide uh, early, pre early prenatal care. We have a pool of amazing nurses and the dietitians that talk to the patients. We have a sonographer uh, who performs ultrasounds early in pregnancy. And we perform all the blood work inside, in, in, the, in the same place. The patient doesn't need to go to any lab outside healthy beginnings. Mm. So are there certain things that uh, pregnant women should be doing and, and that's where you, the care comes in? That's correct. I'm trying to get an idea, Angela, yeah. of, you know. That, that's very important because what Angela was saying was basically as an outpatient, yeah. uh, inpatient, sorry. Yeah. Uh, healthy beginnings or outpatient office care for 
39 or 40 weeks of gestation. They're going to make sure the pregnancy is healthy. Yeah. yeah, and that's, so it is important that if you're pregnant to, to, to contact you and get into the program. Yes, early, absolutely. Early, absolutely. Yeah. Early. As, soon as, as yeah. soon as you know. As soon yeah. as you know, okay. Um, now, unfortunately, sometimes um, people have miscarriages, okay. Uh, are these things, you know, coming from a man, I don't know. Are these things sometimes preventable if they have uh, proper care, if they were in your program? I mean, I know you don't have a magic wand, uh, but are there things that could prevent miscarriages or is it something that just happens? That's, that, that's going to depend on or depends on the number of miscarriages the patient has. The American College of OBGYN basically recommend to start a, a complex workup if the patient has two or more miscarriages. If it's only one miscarriage and we don't know the reason why the patient miscarried in the past, uh, the risk is not that high that that is going to happen again. But if, uh, is there a way that in, in this program that could possibly prevent a miscarriage? If you go through the healthy program, I, 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 I know Pre there's no guarantee. Prenatal care will, will yeah. prevent complications. Yeah. It could definitely prevent a lot of complications. So that's why it's very critical that a person yes. who finds out they're pregnant, early, early in pregnant. to get in, in contact with you, okay? Yeah. So your advice then to um, uh, give me some advice or give the women out there who may be pregnant, okay, Angela, what advice do you, do you give them? Um, well, back to the water, drink a lot of water, eat right? healthy, hmm. rest. When you say eat healthy, what does that mean? Um, like a balanced diet, um, protein, like meat, fruits and vegetables, mm -hmm. um, some grains. Um, Does exercise help? Uh, it's recommended really to, to maintain yeah, your, your ex exercise. I want to discuss this topic. I think it's important. I'm glad that you asked that question because exercise helps a lot, not only during labor because uh, in it's physically physically exhausting. yeah uh, but prevents multiple diseases in pregnancy one of the most common is gestational diabetes okay. eating healthy and being engaged with regular exercise believe it or not prevent this problem in pregnancy so you can still live a very normal life and have a beautiful thing of having a baby which is great if you have the care that you provide them okay yeah well I wish you the best and I'm so happy that you came on the show because I like shows like this you yeah, talk about happy phone numbers are on the screen my friends just call for information you know uh, it's a great thing and congratulations if you're pregnant uh, I, I wish you always the best. Nice meeting the both of you. Thank I wish you, you the much. best. Thank you. If you ever need us, we're here for you, okay? Thanks. Uh, we're known as the healthcare station, and this is the reason. Uh, and I have to tell you, my friends, Lehigh Valley Hospital Network just continues to raise the bar in healthcare. We'll see you next time.